Hi, everybody. Welcome to this edition of the Spartan Sports Report here on TV3. And Andrea Van Meter, excuse me, joins us. And Sam, we're always happy to have Andrea always with us. Always happy to have the boss. <laughs> Ath the athletic director she's, of CHS. She's the I woman mean, in the know. This is true. Yeah, maybe. We don't dare do anything until we get the okay from Andrea. Is mm -hmm. that right, Andrea? I'm sure. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> well, okay, all seriousness, let's talk about a win. Okay. Spartans had a good victory Friday night. They did night. have a good victory Friday night. Um, conference opponent, mm -hmm. Greensburg, came down, and we scored right away. And we just kind of kept that momentum throughout the game, and I think the boys were kind of taking out some aggression from the week before with Franklin County loss. And, sure. Uh, they focused, and I know Coach Lynch had some conversations with the boys um, after the Franklin County um, defeat, and they – Pulled it together, and I think they took that anger out or the anger out on Greensburg. So, Greensburg seemed to have very small numbers. I guess what I'm trying yeah. to say, and I would have to think that maybe we wore them down. They came out and scored right away, and and I thought, man, this this. And then we scored, and I thought this is going to be a high scoring game, uh -huh. and it was for us, but not for them. Yeah, no, I, they had. I'm pretty sure last year their quarterback was a D1 mm -hmm. recruited. Um, quarterback, because I don't remember the game being that far apart with the score well, last year. Last year, uh, we won in overtime, and we came and tied yeah. it right at the end and won in overtime. Yeah, I was going to so. say, it was a very good game last year, but this one, um, we definitely took control after that first score. I think the boys kind of settled down and mm -hmm. figured yes. it out mm -hmm. and kind of went on from there. 41-14 to 14 was the final, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, and they didn't score. It was late when they scored... Uh, uh, their last seven to make mm -hmm. it 14. Mm -hmm. We were for uh, more than three quarters because they scored with about two minutes into the game, uh, yes. opening opening period, and uh, then we shut them out until close to the end. So, um, Coach Lynch had to be pleased uh, both with the defense and the offense. And, and uh, well, he was. He came yeah. up and talked to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they played a total game, and mm -hmm. that's important. Important as we start. Another game this week, going to South Dearborn. Going to South Dearborn, Dearborn County. Yep, just some tough opponents down there. Aurora is the school, oh, is where the school is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're in Aurora. And it's kind of, I mean, they're very close. Like, you go past Lawrenceburg area right. to get they to South Dearborn. Each other, so they? <laughs> they compete. I mean, they have to compete for kids. I mean, I'd like oh, to they, see where yeah, those property, to. where those yeah, property yeah. lines are for those um, two schools. Yeah, it's close. Uh, people that may be driving down there, you may want to leave early because US 50 mm -hmm. is always busy. And there are other yes. ways to come around from the north and come in uh, around the other way, but probably probably down one once you get through Brookville. Uh, if down, you can get through Brookville, because that's through. close too, so you got a detour yeah. around there. So yeah. it's not easy. It's not easy getting down no. there. No, the old thing, you can't get there from here right now. Very, very true. There's no straight line. We usually have pretty good success against the Knights, though. Well, we have. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I believe, uh, we went in undefeated, and, and uh, they beat us that night. And I know that that's stuck in Coach Lynch's crawl, and, and he mm -hmm. wants to turn that around. It was a good game, though, last year. It wasn't by any mm -hmm. means a blowout. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it's always one of those that's in the back of your mind, like I want to go down there and I want to beat them mm. and beat them on their sure. field. They're one and two on the season, though. They say they defeated Madison without too much trouble, but uh, they, they've lost a couple of ball games. So, uh, one of those was D Central, though. So <laughs> That doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it counts, but it doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it'll be hard. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was thinking that's Lawrenceburg that lost East Central. Uh, Jennings right. County so and Batesville County. are that's the right. games that they lost. That's right. Yeah. My, my mistake there. But uh, but down there, is, as Andrea said, uh, Dearborn County schools take their take their football very seriously. They're close yeah. to Cincinnati, and mm -hmm. some of that rubs off, I think, from Cincinnati, mm -hmm. from the Ohio border. And uh, Yeah, they play tough. They play tough. They mm -hmm. do. Yeah. It'll be, I mean, it'll be a challenge, but I think, you know, it's one of those stepping stones the boys have to overcome. I mean, mm -hmm. we're getting closer and closer to the end of the season. I mean, it seems crazy, but we already have three weeks That's under right. us. That's right, a third of the regular season. We're a third season. of the way through, yeah. so pushing forward from here. I mean, got to get ready. Now's the time. Have to always be ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then a week, uh, we're following this Friday's game, Rushville comes to Connors Hill. We go to Rushville. Well, that's right. Yeah, Rushville. we go to Rushville right. this year. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. So that's always 
That's Who always, knows? It's a big game. Yeah, that'll be a big game. We'll take a big crowd. It's always fun, and they always get up for us. But like mm -hmm. you said, we, we pack, pack the visitor side as well with our guys yeah, and we our do. fans. So. It's been years since I've been to the Rush Hill football field. So. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, interesting. Uh, uh, the stands are close to the field, much like their gymnasium, where the bleachers are mm. close to close to the playing floor. It, uh, and it's kind of a cozy setting. Yeah. It, uh, no matter what the sport is, it's always good to play the Lions and, and win. Yeah, it is absolutely. Hopefully, we can get another victory from them this year too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything special in these two ball games coming up? Or are you aware of anything? Or do they use they, other schools tell you when they're planning? Some kind of an event or something um, during Sometimes time. they do. I haven't gotten any information for the game for this Friday. Usually I'll get that Monday or Tuesday okay. of the week we play. Mm -hmm. um, I've not seen anything from South oh. Dearborn. I'm not sure. Rushville, we might be their homecoming game. I'm not sure. I wasn't here, you know, the year before mm -hmm. to know if that's a homecoming. I know they were our homecoming game last yeah. year. Mm -hmm. It's um, usually homecoming when we go to South Dearborn. Usually. Okay, so there's a good chance we might be hitting that. Like I said, I'm not sure. I haven't been made aware of okay, anything I didn't yet. Know if that but if was I do, I'll let protocol people know. or not. Mm -hmm. Do you let other schools know? We do. We'll let them okay. know if there's an event going on. So okay, our next special. home game is homecoming. So mm -hmm. we'll let Speedway know that it's homecoming. So halftime might last a little bit longer, and yeah. that the pregame stuff will start uh, be pushed a little differently because we'll recognize our seniors on the football team. Well, that's being before polite, the game. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. Just give them a heads up so that way if they're planning on the seven o'clock start and we mm -hmm. start. 715 because mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. things like that so well, that's important that uh, you guys work together yeah well communication is huge so mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to keep that's true trying to keep communication that's, between other schools that's the name of the game yeah right. yeah yep. right. we have a video from uh, the spartans win uh, right now tv3 was on the scene of course and let's let's watch that clip now there's uh Michael Buchanan, he is <laughs> lightning quick as he skips into the end zone. It's, it's hard to stop once he gets going, isn't he? Yeah, he's tough to take down. Yeah. You think he's down, then he gets right back up. <laughs> but you're right, they didn't have as many on their sideline. and It was kind of kind of shocking to look over mm -hmm. and see a team that had less. I mean, we were usually the team that has a small sideline. Well, they, uh, they have a new coach. and. Uh, He's just going to have to recruit a little better in all ways, I guess. I guess. But uh, there he goes again, Micah. Uh, Sidelines. I will say that the sportsmanship between both teams this week was a lot better than last week. Um, we had some struggles with, you know, Franklin County coming to town. Yes. Um, we had a lot of issues to take care of last week during the, the week about it. But mm -hmm. um, the sportsmanship overall, I mean, helping each other up, you know, patting mm -hmm. them on the back and stuff. I mean, you saw that quite a few times with, mm -hmm. um, Perez. with the kids. Yeah. Perez uh, taking one in. Um, yeah, and and that's, that's a good thing. It, I can see frustration. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a tough sport, and yeah. and you're hitting, and people get hurt, and Absolutely. Uh, so um, easy maybe to take out some frustration, but you got to check that and, mm -hmm. and just play the game. That yeah, make sure it's not flagrant. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And I thought uh, this week the uh, number of penalties were much reduced from the week yeah. before. Yeah, it's been this has probably been the least amount mm -hmm. we've had in quite mm -hmm. a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I thought there's a few here and there, but right, and and mm -hmm. you're gonna have that. Sure. You know, uh, Dave always says that uh, you can call holding on every play. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's probably true. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Well, it was a good good win for the Spartans, and we hope they continue on now. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope so. They Get seem to be having fun, that, and that's the other side of it. But, that's uh, true. Coach Lynch, I think, wants it that way, and mm -hmm. uh, wants the kids to have fun, and it's still uh, uh, respect is what he's looking for from from our community and from the visitors and uh, respect with the, with their opponents. So, and you can tell the boys are growing. You know, we talked the first week about you know having so many seniors last year and this uh -huh. group of juniors trying to step up, and I think they're finding their way. I think they're mm -hmm. eventually have figured out they've got to step up, and there's something that they have to do about it mm -hmm. instead of just following. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can kind of see that change. You can see it in the hallways. Sure. It takes you can a see while, it doesn't it? In the practice field, yeah. It's not an overnight thing. No, not at all. Yeah. 
the uh, leadership that they learn from mm -hmm. from playing sports, all sports, sure. uh, carries over into life uh, once they're out of school. Yeah, it does. I mean, <laughs> look at you. I guess, look at me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's important, too, if they follow the coach's lead. I mean, if he's mm -hmm. calm and collected, the, the kids will be. I don't know that Ryan's very calm and collected. I, I don't know that I would put those two words together for him okay, all the what time. Would you, what, what two words would you use? How about determined, intense, mm -hmm. um, focused. But he doesn't rant. No, he does not. Okay, no, he does well, not. That's what, that's what no. we don't want. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he would want to be considered calm because then he would think that he probably is not doing his job the way he needs to. <laughs> so. he, he's excited. Very excited. Yeah. Well, he's not throwing <laughs> helmets and things, though, is he? I mean, no, 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 no. He doesn't do that. Well, I hope not. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, I've seen him animated on the sideline, but but not okay. not in a bad way. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll let go with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we might check the schedule this week at CHS on Tuesday. Volleyball will be at Northeastern. Girls soccer at Rushville. Boys tennis home with Centerville. On Thursday, boys soccer home with. Uh, at Centerville, and boys tennis will be at South Dearborn. Volleyball will be home with Greensburg, and the girls golf will be at East Central. On Friday night, Spartan football, of course, at South Dearborn. On Saturday, co-ed cross country at Marion Oak Hill. Why does that have two names? Well, I think it's, Marion is, well, it's held by Indiana Westland. Oh. They're the ones who run the meet. Oh. But it's in Marion, and I think the course is called Oak Hill, I think is how that works. I'm really not sure. Well, I just got the information that, this morning enough. for I mean, it. So, that, that's fine. But Indiana Westland is the one who puts it on. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that's good enough. Yeah. Uh, the uh, girls' golf will be at Greensburg, and that's a conference tourney starting already. Mm -hmm. Kind of early for conference tourney because... Well, it seems like it, but golf starts before school starts. That's true. Yep, and their sectionals are the 18th of mm -hmm. September. Right so behind, right? It's yeah. here. <laughs> That's right, whether we're ready or not. Though. Yep, so they play at 2 o'clock on Saturday instead okay, of that Okay, that'll be fine. Uh, boys soccer will be home at, with Rushville. JV soccer will be at East Central. Volleyball will be at the Connorsville Invitational, and that'll be in the new... Gymnasium, right? Yeah, at the field house. That'd be nice. Yeah, we play How many there. teams will be coming? Have you uh, three teams come in, so Pike, Seymour, and Rising Sun. Okay. And they also bring their JV teams. Hey. So we'll have varsity on one court, JV on the other. Be quite an afternoon. Uh, yeah, uh, makes for a good day volleyball. Schools that are spread apart that maybe wouldn't normally Yeah, normally that's kind of fun. I mean, it's there's some big girls that come from Seymour, and Pike usually brings a pretty athletic team. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's just a neat little... Mm -hmm tournament to play and you don't get to see and they're not in your conference and not in your sectional so yeah just somebody else to see during the year and the girls soccer team will be traveling to south dearborn mm -hmm. we mentioned south dearborn quite often today yeah there's we've they, noticed the trend of <laughs> scheduling that you know once yeah. football plays them then tennis and soccer and uh, oh, volleyball and then the next behind, week it's the same yeah, yeah. we yep. started out playing all of richmond and then, yeah we played all of richmond and then it went to newcastle uh -huh. and then yeah south dearborn yeah yeah. Rushville. Rushville. Rushville was last week, this week. So yeah. Yeah. kind of interesting how it cycles. Overall, how are the fall sports going, in your opinion? Um, they're going pretty well. Boys soccer has a really good chance of um, moving on. I think mm -hmm. if you haven't come out to watch them yet, they're a very competitive group of young men. Um, they play hard. They work hard. Um, Soccer is just fun to watch. We're Coaches Bottomley and Reynolds do a great yeah, job. Bottomley and Reynolds, yeah. and then Andrew Stein volunteers with them. Oh, okay. But they, I mean, they just work very hard. They come up with some victories. I know East Central got them, um, but it was a very close, very mm -hmm. close match. Mm -hmm. So hopefully come sectional time, they're ready to go. I think they will be. Oh, I um, do East too. Central is, right. and I'm pretty sure East Central is still in our conference for that. Mm -hmm. um, Girl soccer is underway. Um, they're playing well. They have some pretty good success. So they've had a few injuries um, and some sicknesses. They're trying mm -hmm. to get healthy. Mm -hmm. um, but girl soccer is competing pretty well. Um, golf is experiencing some successes. They're a little young. Yes. Um, there are two seniors on the team. Um, but some of the underclassmen, you know, you're looking at freshmen and sophomores who are also carrying um, that team in the top five. So, um they have some room to grow, but they're having fun with it. They like Coach Reveille. He does a great job with them. 
um, teaching them some different um, strategies with golf, different strokes and things like that. Um, let's see, who else? Volleyball won the Rushville Invitational this past weekend. Yes. So um, that was much needed. They've been kind of, they kind of feel defeated. The girls kind of look defeated. I think they're just tired. They play mm -hmm. so many matches mm -hmm. in such a short amount of time. It kind of reminds me of the spring with softball, how they play like almost every day or every other day. Um, but to get the number of games in, there's not much of a choice. You experienced so, that when you played, right? Yeah. I mean, I like game day. Game day was my mm -hmm. favorite. Practices I didn't like. But game day was mm -hmm. my favorite. So no matter how tired we were, we liked playing. And then many of those girls, like you did, went mm -hmm. directly from, from that right, yep, in, right into the next sport. Right, right into uh, basketball. Yep. And... and it's a little bit different conditioning then. It's very different. Yeah. <laughs> now, when we had Penny Piper, she was our coach my first two years. We did a lot of running, so we were in shape when we went to basketball. Uh -huh. And then Trish, she she didn't she was hard on us, but she didn't make us run as much as Penny did. So um, we were a little not so in shape when we went to basketball. <laughs> so <laughs> is volleyball going to become a boys' sport? I don't know yet. Okay. I'm not sure yet. We have not brought that in yet. I think we can look into it. Um, we're we're kind of testing the waters this year with the middle school soccer uh -huh. and seeing how adding a new sport in a season has affected some other things. And so, and it has affected a few other things. So it actually caused our middle school swim program to not have enough kiddos by doing that. So instead of having, you know, eight to 10 swimmers, we have two. So we've unfortunately had to put that on hold. Mm -hmm. We are maybe looking at changing when we swim for middle school to add it to the winter. So that way they could play soccer and then they could still swim. There's a lot of schools that do a winter sp mm -hmm. um, swim program for middle school. So we're looking into that, but I'm just afraid with adding volleyball in the spring, what's that gonna compete with? I mean, our track numbers are already, they're decent, but they're not super high like they used to be. Baseball numbers are decent, but we have our three teams for baseball. So I, I hate to bring that in and take another sure, 12, 15 kids away. We have so many kids. That, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I don't and know that there would be different. Dwindling uh, enrollment, too. Right? Sure. I'm saying, and I don't know that adding a volleyball team would be different kids. It might be the kids that are doing something that are leaving uh -huh. those to come. Yes. So I don't know. We keep throwing it out. I've had a couple of kids ask me, but no one's really bugged me every single day. I know Reveille, Mr. Reveille, wants to coach the team. Mm -hmm. um, he's bugged me last year, but <laughs> um, just trying to get that interest, I'm not sure yet. So we just don't have the numbers. Our, like you said, our enrollment is down a little bit, and we want to be good at what we have. That's true. And kind of make true. what we have really good. And mm -hmm. But again, not everybody necessarily wants to play the sports that they're in. Maybe they do want to play volleyball. Maybe mm -hmm. there are some kids mm -hmm. that would you know, not play baseball because that's all they know, but maybe they would play volleyball because of it, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. To be an ICSAA sanctioned sport, mm -hmm. more than 50% of the schools have to vote for it? Um, I think the number is 150. I think 150 uh, schools have to oh, okay. try it. Oh, not okay. vote for it, but try it. So oh, okay. when it was just a club sport, they wanted to go around the state to see how many. There's 402 or 403 IHSA sanctioned schools. Mm -hmm. um, three just became members this year, and there's about eight that are trying to become members again, or not again, but to become members. Um, but for a sport to go on, they say that you need to have 150 schools competing at that club level. Okay. And uh, show success at that club level before well, they will sense, yes. take it on to mm -hmm. like an actual team. What is a club sport? Explain that. So club sport is not sanctioned by IHSAA. Mm -hmm. So usually the coaches are not paid through the school system. Usually transportation is not um, granted through the schools. You can, but you don't have to. Um, basically, the school doesn't pay for any part of that sport to take place. What's They'll give the them maybe the facility to use. Um, but as far as like uniform officials and things like that, those those members would have to come up with Bowling that. Bowling be an example of that? Um. That club, See, or? I don't know that bowling is really considered a sport through IHSAA. Okay. I think it's more of a another extracurricular, kind of like archery. archery. Now, but that's tricky too, though, because there's some schools in our conference that are now, their archery teams are so big, they're taking it through their athletic department uh -huh. um, and kind of giving them the same awards as what you would for like a normal 
you know, mm -hmm. IHSA sanctioned event. So we kind of go by what the IHSA says for that sure. one. Um, so our middle school soccer team, our coaches currently are not paid. Um, we do provide the transportation for them. We have picked that up. Mm -hmm. um, they do participate out at the, what's it called, um, River's Edge. The soccer mm -hmm. fields mm -hmm. out there, that's where they compete because they, they need a smaller field because they're younger. Um, ours is just a little bit too big. But they mm -hmm. do practice up at our practice fields and in our main field sometimes. Um, and then their uniforms are, we actually had extra ones that the boys and girls soccer team had that they didn't need. They were too small, so they donated them to them. So they didn't have to buy their own uniform. So we've kind of brought them in kind because helping. it is, I mean, soccer is a sanctioned sport through the high school. Sure. We just haven't brought it to the middle school yet. And we just really wanted to try it to see how many schools around us had teams. What we're finding is most of them are co-ed. And so they don't have a boys team and a girls team. Oh, okay. We have enough for a boys team and a girls team. A lot of the schools are co-ed. So they haven't had a chance to play very many. Uh -huh. So that's what's making it very hard. But something down the road maybe. Sure. And if you play a club sport, you can do, you could compete in two sports at the same time. So you mm -hmm. could be doing club soccer and let's say swimming in the high school you could do both of them at the same time because they don't really compete with each other. I noticed in the middle school swimming is not going. Yeah, we unfortunately had to kind of put a pause on it. They're still conditioning, they're still swimming and practicing and mm -hmm. we still want them to get better. So the coaches are still working with them. Problem is we we can't justify having a meet with three kiddos. It's I not see. fair for you know South Dearborn to come up and think they're gonna swim a whole meet against our three kiddos mm -hmm. like they can do that back home so we're hoping that maybe we can move it to the winter we kind of made some phone calls to see mm -hmm. um that was last week week's project <laughs> so we'll what, see what we can come uh, up with numbers for high school swimming aren't real good either right? they're not and it's hard to judge because they just started last week back in the in the pool and the kids are kind of doing what they want to do mm. they're coming in and want to do this workout or want to do this and it's it's been hard we've been trying to get a coach and we've got some leads on some people and then they're not calling back so i'm not sure but i know we lost a few mm -hmm. from last year we lost quite a few seniors mm -hmm. um but in coming up we only had three eighth graders last year that swam so i mean we're not getting that it, many makes numbers it tough. It does. As you know, I have a swimmer that's a senior. <laughs> I do. I do. I've talked to that swimmer a few times. Mm -hmm. So, but we're trying. We're trying yeah. our best. Um, well, if we can switch gears here a little bit. Sure. Uh, sure. Uh, last week, I noticed a lot of dirt has been moved at the baseball field. <laughs> yep, uh, a lot of dirt. They're getting, they're getting the new one ready. So They are. They came, uh, was it last week that they started? Last Monday? Maybe. Maybe it's two weeks ago. Um, I can't keep track. Last week was the first I noticed anything. Okay. Well, when you probably noticed it when they start. They did quite a bit the mm -hmm. first day. Um, so, yeah, baseball field is underway. Uh, the company is out of Indianapolis who we're using. Um, the next thing that you'll notice are lights. They'll be going up here pretty soon. Once they get it leveled and the dirt moved. It's a cornfield um, right now, isn't it? Or wasn't it Yeah, the FFA owns owns that, mm -hmm. that piece of land. Um and so it didn't take a whole lot of their field like they had originally intent or thought that it was going to take. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the field is getting leveled and excavated now, and then hopefully the lights will go up soon, and then they'll work on the fencing, and then they'll bring in the sod. They're hoping the sod will be in in November. Makes me think, you know, that what it is and what was a cornfield, it's build it and they will come. Yeah, you know, I know, field of dreams. Field of dreams. So. <laughs> So hopefully yeah. this spring they'll be playing on it. Yeah. Um, may it's not true. have a press box, may not have bleachers out there, but at least we can have a field with bases and teams. Mm -hmm. so. Sort of on the east side of the football field, is that where? It where? is south, kind of southeast of mm -hmm. the football field. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. back there where our visitor parking is. Mm -hmm. Adjacent so. pretty much to the existing mm -hmm. baseball field. Present field, okay. So it's actually turned though northeast, which is the direction I was told that baseball fields are supposed to be built. So, I don't know much about yeah. building baseball fields, but I know ours <laughs> is not facing the right direction, so this new one will be. <laughs> so, it changed a few yeah. plans, but yeah. I think makes it work. the sun out of the eyes of the outfielders. I think it's to keep the, the sun out of the eyes of the pitchers and the batters. Okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't <laughs> I just know listen either. to the experts. That's why mm -hmm. we pay them the big bucks. <laughs> 
Um, one other thing with facilities, mm -hmm. um, Franklin County's uh, got turf. Uh, I guess it's down now to Connersville and Rushville, the only two mm -hmm. uh, football fields that have natural grass, and there are those that like natural grass, there are those that like the turf. You can do a lot with turf, sure. with soccer, and a lot of other things. Um, no comment? Can I say that? Okay. <laughs> can I say no comment? Sure. Um, no, I think we're, t we're in a tough situation. We really are. Because, mm -hmm. um, yes, you're right, all of our conference schools, but Rush will have it. Um, I don't know our new sectional for football schools, but all of our former sectional schools for football also had turf. Um, a lot of our conference schools have turf soccer. Um, but, yeah, us and Rushville are the only it could two be, that have though, not. could be, a true home field advantage if we kept the grass. It could be. Well, and, but you, <laughs> if you look at the news and stuff, they're talking about how the NFL fields are going back to natural grass. So I don't know mm. what your best answer is. I mean, their issue is they don't flake the turf up enough to make it fluffy, and ours is which direction are we going to mow it. So I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I, I mean, they each each thing has their own ups and downs. I, I mean, it's just hard. That whole complex mm. is... Well, we need in need of some we, help. We need new locker rooms. We need uh, new track, uh, new bleachers. Need new bleachers, <laughs> new bleacher boards. I mean, they are yep. they are bigger very restrooms. Strange. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, there is a lot that needs to be done, and I mean, it's it's baby steps. And I, we have the support. I mean, our our school board supports us. Our admin supports us. It's just the fact that it's taken so long to make these changes. The money's and just not the there. Money, right, mm -hmm. right. But uh, the new lights are nice. Yep. I, mean, I mean, and you talk about baby steps. That's a baby yep, step. Yeah, baby steps We have everywhere. the best press box of anywhere we go. We do. I like uh, our press box. Heated and air conditioned. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's wonderful. Yep. And the people, the visiting radio that comes in, they always, they're always <laughs> very appreciative. Get their own door and their own little air conditioning. So, yeah. yeah it's not too many high schools have air conditioned press boxes. No. Well, no. our air conditioning wasn't working last week. We went down there and fixed it. It was like thick dust. All the way around it. Mm. So Daryl and his crew went and blew that all out, and that was the reason worked, why it wasn't worked, cool. It worked good. We had it ready for well, you. Well, the week before, um, it was cooler. It was. It had been on, but it was just so hot and humid that. Yeah, it was bad. But it was better. It was better than. Better than being outside. Better than being outside. Better than <laughs> chasing just having, kids around. That was me. <laughs> We have to change the filter every so often, don't you? Well, it wasn't a filter. It was no. the outside part of the, the unit that the sucks the part. air in. Mm -hmm. It was sucking in all the dirt and everything. And it was, I mean, it was. It was very, very thick. So, <laughs> we struggled. Well, you have to get your broom out. and. <laughs> I didn't even know where the unit was at. So, I would have done it if I would have known where it was at. I had no okay. clue. I'm like, just let me know. I'll take a shot back out you there. You can't do it all. I know, but I try. <laughs> Well, we hope we get a, a sectional at Connersville in football. That would be nice, and that will be coming up shortly. They'd be doing the drawing and all that. Yeah, everybody wants to host a sectional, but no one wants to help plan it. You're going to help me plan it, Sam? I'll <laughs> <laughs> That's the downside of hosting. It's, well, the, it's great to host on your home field, but there's a lot of work that goes into bet, but putting a game on like that, especially knowing, like, you know, just a week ahead of time, trying to get mm -hmm. all your workers. So mm -hmm. good thing but, is we don't have to do the officials. That's a good thing. But you did a great <laughs> job last year, and in years years prior, we've done a good job yeah. hosting. And we do well hosting. I think so. No complaints. From I think it's good for the kids. It's, the it's good for the fans. It's good sure. for the community. People come and spend money. Absolutely. Uh, and this these teams are going to travel further. So if we host one this year, we could have a Martinsville team, or we could have Silver Creek a team from whatever. Shelbyville, or yeah, Silver Creek. Who gets to take that drive? 15 miles north of Louisville. And say, who gets to drive down there on a Friday know, night to like, play? That's going like to be awful. It's like going to Washington for I the know. boys' basketball. I know. It's going to be a drive. Andrea, as always, we welcome you to join yeah. us on the program, bring us up to date on what's happening at CHS and Sports, and we welcome you every week. I like to come. I have a couple of coaches coming in the next couple of weeks. So Sounds good. Quiz them a lot. <laughs> we will. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll, we'll wear them down for awesome. you. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching tonight, this edition of Spartan Sports Report. Have a nice evening.